Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Sagittarius, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, give me some messages for Sagittarius for the next 48 to 72 hours. What would you like for Sagittarius to know at this time? Next 48 to 72 hours. What would you like for Sagittarius to know? Next 48 to 72 hours. I have guidance. You are currently being guided. And then we have new job. You've got... The job you're higher but it flipped out in the reverse and I'm gonna leave it that way I thought I turned every card over but everything happens for a reason bottom of the deck I have projection your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out so let's go ahead and tap in and see what spirit wants you to know Spirit, tell me why is guidance a new job here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Why is guidance a new job here for Sagittarius? What's the message? Why is guidance a new job here? Or Sagittarius, what's the energy? Why is this here? Guidance and new job. What's the energy? Okay, I have the four of cups in the reverse. So, for some of you, I feel like you are in a position where you're willing to accept guidance from the most high from spirit. Um, for some of you, I feel like um, in the past, you may have rejected this divine guidance, but now you're more open. For some of you, this could be due to there um, being some type of stagnation or delay in your life when it comes to your opportunity. Something could be going on with someone's employment at this time. Give me an energy for a new job in the reverse. Why is this here? Somebody could be out of work and have a hard time finding work. I feel like whatever is happening, Sagittarius, is happening for a higher purpose. You're being guided um, on a specific path, one that is part of your destiny, your fate. Give me another message for Sagittarius. What's the energy? Why is guidance a new job in the reverse here for Sagittarius? What's the energy spirit? Why is guidance a new job here for Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands in the reverse? Tell me more about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Five of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like somebody's going to be coming out of some type of frustration here because you're surrendering or this person is surrendering. I feel like somebody was definitely in this Nine of Wands energy, very immature, very reckless, not taking the time to think things through before you acted or before this person acted. Give me an energy for the Four of Cups in the reverse. Why is this here for Sagittarius? Why is the Four of Cups in the reverse here? For Sagittarius, what's the energy? The Queen of Wands in reverse. So yeah, I feel like somebody was definitely in some karmic energy, some lustful energy. Somebody, you know, liked 
passionate interactions but lack self-control when it came to these interactions. It's almost like whoever this person is or whoever you are, Sagittarius, will pretty much, you know, get down with anybody. Like as long as you were attracted to the person, that was enough. Somebody was definitely very karmic here. Give me an energy for the Five of Swords. For some of you, this person engaged in this lifestyle. Were you engaged in this lifestyle like to relieve some type of frustration? So it's like whenever something wouldn't go your way, you were having a bad day, something was just going on in your life that you weren't able to um, work through in a healthy way, you would turn to um, toxicity, primarily, you know, um, lustful interactions in order to relieve the frustration, in order to take your mind off of um, what you were going through or what this person was going through. Somebody, for some of you, also developed some type of addiction when it came to passion. Give me an energy for the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Why is the Five of Swords here? What is the message? The two of wands. Yeah, somebody pretty much went in the wrong direction, took the wrong path. For some of you, um, this person was very misguided. Somebody would accept um, guidance from the wrong people, the wrong person. Yes, yeah, like somebody went in the wrong direction here. Give me a, another energy for the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? And I feel like the only thing this person or these people wanted to do was keep you or keep this other energy in some um, karmic energy. Keep someone in a very low vibrational state. They didn't want you to change or didn't want this person to change or ascend. Why is the Five of Swords here in the reverse for Sagittarius? What's the message? Why is the Five of Swords here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Justice. I feel like somebody went through some type of karma here for decisions that they made in their life. It was time for someone to go on a new path or somebody let, you know, their addictions, um, being in this lustful energy, being immature, like override their good judgment. Yeah, somebody made some bad judgment calls. I feel like... Um, Someone has really been doing a lot of reflecting and has realized that they've made a lot of wrong turns. Just a lot of bad choices overall that led them to where they currently are right now or that led you to where you currently are in Sagittarius. Like this is somebody coming to the realization that, hey, I am on the wrong path. Hey, you know, I have been misguided, misled, but that was due, you know, to... my own choice to allow other people some type of control over my life. Somebody gave their power away here and they're realizing it. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands in the reverse? The Seven of Swords. So... I feel like this person ended up getting connected to a karmic energy or this is you, Sagittarius. Somebody's a liar, manipulator. This is somebody um, who is not fair with you. This is somebody who wants things their way. They'll do whatever they have to do underhanded to get what they want. This is somebody who really lacks like a moral compass here. And somebody got wrapped up with this person. For some of you, somebody could be facing legal issues at this time as well. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. But it's like the only reason why this person got caught up with this other energy is because of them wanting to remain toxic. Somebody didn't want to change. Somebody got caught up in the nightlife, having a good time, hanging around very low vibrational people, and 
that became the norm for this person or the norm for you and that's how you or this person got wrapped up with this karmic energy this third party give me an energy for the knight of wands somebody's definitely facing some type of legal issues here why is the knight of wands here for sagittarius what's the energy the hierophant in the reverse <laughs> Taurus energy. I feel like whoever this person partnered up with is not commitment material. Like this is somebody who you just have a good time with and that's it. You do not commit to this person. You do not marry this person. You do not take this person seriously. This is somebody who's literally there for fun and that's all. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. Another energy please. The Four of Pentacles. So somebody's holding back from this person or Sagittarius. You're holding back from this person. I feel like somebody actually committed to this energy or tried to. Tried to offer this person a commitment, a relationship, a marriage for some of you. But like I said, this isn't somebody you commit to. This is somebody who you have fun with. There for a good time, but not a long time. Give me an energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody trying to move forward with a commitment but didn't work. <sighs> somebody trying to move forward with a third party. And it did not work out how this person intended. I feel like both of these people, they were able to co coexist together because they were both in a very low vibrational place give me an energy for the hierophant why is the hierophant here for sagittarius what's the energy the emperor yes yeah, somebody tried to move forward and have a beginning a new beginning with a third party somebody who's a queen of wands in reverse somebody who gets around Somebody who you do not turn into a housewife. Somebody tried to wife this person, cuff this person, make this person a main squeeze, and all be all. That's what this is. Aries energy on the emperor. Give me an energy for the emperor. Why is the emperor here? What's the message for Sagittarius? Why is the emperor here? What is the message for Sagittarius? What's the energy? The Six of Pentacles. And it was one-sided. Like, whoever this masculine energy is, he was doing everything, taking care of the bills, the house. Just everything when it came to this relationship. Somebody could be um, being displaced. I'm hearing that. But, yeah, it was just a very um, unbalanced connection. I feel like... The only thing this third party did was take and anything that, you know, she was able to accumulate for herself, she held on to it. Like, this is somebody who was very selfish. It was all about her, like, me, 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 or him. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What's the energy? So somebody, you know, invested in the wrong person. Somebody accepted the wrong offer. But it was primarily due to being in this toxic lifestyle. I have the Eight of Wands in the reverse and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. <sighs> Whoever this um, karmic energy is, is very selfish. Extremely selfish. Like, this is somebody who won't even talk to you. Who won't answer your phone calls if they don't get their way. Give me an energy for the Nine of Cups. And if this person does talk to you, it's very negative. It could be very disrespectful. Somebody overdoes it. It's like, you know, this person goes for the gusto. Somebody will say whatever they need to hit below the belt just to get what they want or make this masculine feel guilty about not giving her or giving him what they want. Give me an energy for the Nine of Cups. 
Why is the Nine of Cups here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Sagittarius? The Six of Swords and the Star. I feel like this person um, kept going back to this karmic energy, kept dealing with this person because whoever this masculine energy is actually believed that this person was like, I'm hearing chosen, was like a part of his destiny. But no, this person was not wish fulfillment. This was not someone part of this masculine's destiny. This was not a faded connection, a faded divine connection. This was definitely a karmic cycle. Now, with this star energy, I do feel like this masculine was meant to encounter this karmic in order to learn a lesson, but that's it. The cycle was supposed to be closed. You move on, on to the next. Give me an energy for the eight of wands, but somebody kept going back because they really did believe like this person was meant to be in their life. Give me an energy for the eight of wands. And for some of you too, this person kept going back, listening to other people. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? What's the energy spirit? The Magician. Yeah, somebody's very manipulative, especially with like their communication. Like this person knows exactly what to say to either get this person to feel guilty, this emperor energy, or to get what they want. Somebody uses a lot of negative talk here. For some of you too, this is somebody um, who will intentionally like put themselves down just to get people to feel sorry for them. This is somebody who plays the victim a lot. This is also somebody who's always reliving the past, uses, you know, their childhood as an excuse or past relationships as an excuse for why they act the way they do. But it's all manipulation. It's all a control tactic. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? Like, this person knows what they're doing. The magician is in the upright. This person has done this before, many times before. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. This is also someone for some of you that have promised they'll change and they never do. This person sells like dreams here. False hope. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. The lovers. Yeah, this person um uses passion to get what they want. This person is able to control, manipulate people through intimacy. This is also somebody who has another partner. This is somebody who has multiple lovers. They talk to different people. Yeah, this person don't have the best intentions. Heavy on the Gemini energy. Then we have Virgo. Yeah, it's like somebody keeps going back to a situation and continuously get their heart broken because there's no love here. It's literally just passion. That's it. It's just good intimacy. That's all. It's not going to grow. It's not meant to be anything long term. And it's like somebody's going to keep going back until they learn a lesson. Somebody has to learn a lesson here. And it's like every time somebody go back, they end up in this five of pentacles, feeling de depleted, lost, down and out emotionally, spiritually, mentally. For some of you financially, having to start back over, rebuild. And the only thing this karmic energy is doing is just creating blockages, stagnating this person with lies, manipulation, deceit, trying to block this um, masculine energy from healing. Somebody needs to heal. Something could also be like a trauma bond. Yeah, it's like both of these people like to play the victim. And I feel like that's a common tie. It's like nobody really wants to grow up. They keep reliving their childhood trauma instead of working through it. Give me an energy for guidance. 
why is guidance here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Or this is you. Take it as it resonates. Why is guidance here for Sagittarius? What's the energy spirit? Why is guidance here? The will of fortune. So I feel like for some of you, somebody's going to be making a choice to go in another direction. Because I'm telling you, two of ones in reverse, this person is on the wrong path. And somebody is switching it up. And then I'm hearing reverse, reverse. Yeah, somebody's going in the opposite direction. They're allowing um, their spiritual team to step in. And I feel like whatever this person went through was fated to happen exactly this way. Somebody's definitely going to start to see um, a very significant improvement in their life once they surrender to this guidance. Or so this is you, Sagittarius. This is your energy on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is new job in the reverse? Why is new job in the reverse here for Sagittarius? What's the energy? Yeah, somebody's finally saying yes. Somebody's finally saying yes. They're surrendering. They're letting it go. They're just simply allowing divine intervention. They're allowing God to step in. Give me an energy for new job. Why is new job here in the reverse? What is the message? Why is new job here in the reverse for Sagittarius? The Knight of Cups and Eight of Swords. So yeah, so th there's no new beginning here. I feel like with this new job, like, no, we're not doing this again. We're not starting over again. I'm not making you this offer anymore. Somebody is becoming unstuck mentally. They see the truth. They see the situation for what it is. They see the manipulation and they're no longer offering love to this third party. Somebody's done like no more, no reconciliation, no starting over, no trying to fix things. Confirmation the train. Give me an energy for projection. The king of wands. Your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out. So I feel like because this person wanted to be stuck in the past, especially when it came to like old wounds that needed healing, they allowed themselves to continuously repeat that same cycle in this connection that they were in. It's like somebody was constantly just reliving the past through this relationship because i'm telling you something was a trauma bond here again both of these people relived it but nobody ever took action to try to heal it to do something about it. It was just always bringing up memories. But okay, you brought up the memories. You talked about it. So what's next? Nobody ever got to the what's next. And because this person was so stuck in the past. Every other area in this masculine's life. Was also stuck. This person wasn't able to move forward. Because they still had a lot of things to heal. So things started to become stagnated. It's like the more this person dealt with this karmic energy, the more stagnated this masculine's life became because of the energy that he was in. He wasn't able to move forward. But now that somebody's taking back power, control over their life, now this person can go, can be free. Somebody's taking action here.
And it all started with this person accepting guidance, the right guidance to move on. So somebody's definitely becoming single, free, unencumbered. And somebody's also, I'm hearing like law of attraction. Somebody could be studying the law of attraction, but somebody's realizing like, hey, you know, if I want better for myself, if I want to attract a healthy relationship that I myself have to be in a positive space. I have to become what it is that I actually want to attract. Because I'm telling you the reason why this person attracted this karmic relationship in the first place is because they were in their karmic energy. So somebody's realizing, hey, if I want something better, I have to switch it up. I have to change how I do things. If I want better, I have to be better. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Sagittarius. Give me a final message for Sagittarius. What's the energy? Cleanse. You are water. Cry, sweat, drink, soak, swim to refresh. Yeah. This person definitely um, needs to do some cleansing. Or Sagittarius, you need to cleanse your energy from whoever this past person is. Even though, you know, you may move on physically, there still needs to be um, some spiritual cleansing as well. Um, I'm hearing cord cutting, so I don't know too much about it. But if that's something that um, you believe in, Spirit is giving me that cord cutting for someone. Let's pull one more energy. Spirit, give me one more message for Sagittarius. One more message for Sagittarius. What's the energy? One more message for Sagittarius. What's the energy spirit? I have your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Somebody's commitment to themselves. Somebody's commitment to this new beginning is being tested. It's like spirit is saying, are you going to keep moving forward or are you going to look back? And I feel like for someone, you're not looking back. You're looking to the hills. You're looking towards the future. Bottom of the deck, you're good enough. So for some of you, this person lacked confidence. Somebody didn't believe that they deserve better. But once this person started believing in themselves or once you started believing in yourself, Sagittarius, and realizing what you deserve, what you can have, who you can become, knowing your worth, that's when everything truly started to change for you inside out. I'm actually hearing the gospel song inside out. So for someone, you may want to go listen to that song. But this is your reading. You could definitely have Virgo highly aspected. So stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.